Okay, you ready? Yeah. So how's it been going with the album and everything? It's cool. Um, we're just like uh, taking a little break because um, you know we work at a high street studios and they're replacing the console. So we were the last we were the last people to work on that console. We retired it. <laughs> so no, nah, but we got like the album is done. We have like three songs to mix still though. But like you know we have what. Like, you know, 12, 13 songs mixed. So it's going to be about how many songs on the album? So we're going 14 songs and a bunch of short songs and skits. So 14 full songs. And the guys are trying to get more, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. People are like, because we're having a hard time debating on what's getting the cut. Right. And, um, you know, people are like, let's just put on 15, let's put 16. And I'm, like, holding <laughs> that because I like, you know, I feel like, you know, if, if we got to take off, you know, real bump in the songs, then that means that what's le left on is going to be highly impressive. So, so what's the reaction then from people checking it out in the industry and whatnot? I, I mean, no one's really heard it, really. I mean, it's the thing, you know, the, the live, you know, it seems to be getting good reaction, but I haven't really circulated it in the industry really mm -hmm. you know I, i'm starting to because you know i'm actually it's just i'm you know people are just getting more curious but like it seemed like the, the you know the fans the people that buy live on and on during the site or at shows they seem to dig it you know what i'm saying you know uh i was in we play i played some stuff for this guy in, uh, in la and he was really digging it too you know like a guy in the industry but you know what I'm saying, we haven't really got it out there yet. Like, we haven't been able to press up, like, copies for press, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Can you talk about distribution at all yet, or is it too early? Um, let's see, uh, you know, we're, we're, we got, we're really close on this one thing, but I'm about to go to New York on the 9th of this month, I know, in June, and I'm, I'm kind of, like, going to put out a little feelers, because before I finalize a deal, I kind of want to check on some things first, you know, yeah. right, make sure I cover all bases. And you were down at Rap Pages the other day when I hollered at you, right? Yeah. So it's getting out to the publications? Yeah, uh, there's a spread on us in the July issue of Rap Pages with um, Craig Max on the cover. Mm -hmm. It's not out yet. I guess the current one has, like, mugs on the cover. Mm -hmm. But um, there's, a, there's a pretty big article on there in there on us, which is, you know, I, I got a chance to check it out a little bit, but it's looking good. So, we talk about the site, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, oh, you know, people were hollering about Domino Oldies, too. Yeah, you know, um, I, I, I'd say that Domino Oldies is gonna, is, is gonna be a while, just for the fact that I think that I want to at least get our current stuff out and rolling. You right. Know what I'm I, you know, like, you know, I had said it before in the past that I didn't want people to kind of like, you know, jump backwards. You know what I'm saying? Right. I feel like Domino Oldies is dying down, so people are kind of trying to see what we're doing now. And I feel like if I put, a, put out Domino Oldies too, is that people are just going to be like back on that. So I feel like let's get people... Since we ain't been out in a while, let's get people back on our let let people know where we're at right now, you know, mm -hmm. and then then you know then we'll feed them with that later, you know. And you and I talked very briefly about shows before. Do you want to mention anything about that? Um, we have a um, you know I'm working on shows. It was the only thing confirmed is Dell has performing in Detroit on I think it's uh, July. <laughs> I think it's July. Yeah, I, I, we'll hook it up. Yeah. It'll be up there. Yeah, Dale's, I forgot Dale's performance. Those shows too, and I'm just hooking up shows. You know, we're trying to hook up a bunch of stuff, but we're trying to coincide that with the, the release of the single, which is being pressed right now, like as far as vinyl. Mm -hmm. And so it should probably be hitting like high radio DJs in the, like three weeks, probably three weeks to a month to where, you know, people are going to start hearing it more. Any talk of a video? Um, not for this. We're, we're, we're not going to do a video probably until we have the distribution, distribution solidified, mm -hmm. the album is done and pressed up, and then we decide which route we're going to go. Initially, we're going to start with a bunch of underground, like this single that we have, um, which is um, The Who, 
So we did a remix, the A plus did a remix to the Who, and then After Dark or the is the single is that we're, we're getting pressed out. We're, you know, we're gonna put that out. You know, mainly you know just hitting um, DJs, and maybe you might be able to get a few. You know, get it on cassette here and there. You right. know what I'm saying? But basically, we're just focusing on getting the buzz started by the DJs, and then you know, if things go well on that front, then we we'll may next single may you know we may get a video for for whatever the next single. But if not, we don't feel like we've gained enough momentum. We'll probably put out another more underground single just to keep. St you know what I mean? Yeah. Because, you know, we're, we're taking it slow. We're not we're not doing it like majors where they throw out a single, they throw out a video, and then the album is set date. That's why, you know, when people are asking me, you know, um, you know, when's the album coming out? And I'm kind of regretting that we actually gave dates in the past mm -hmm. because it kind of goes against what my whole mentality about working this project, which is, um, you know, look at the climate, make sure that people are ready for it before you just put it out. Right. You know, because I wanted it to be out in February at first, and then I wanted it to be out in April, you know. But then, you know, it wasn't ready. But even if it was ready, if, if I don't feel like, you know, that, that you know, people were hot, on, hot for it, we ain't set it up right, then... You know, it won't it won't happen. Just like you know, look at No Man's Land. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, it's, a lot of people don't even know it ever came out, and a lot of people it just was out. You know, so it's not just about putting the product out; it's about getting people primed and ready. What have your feelings been towards working independently as opposed to with a record label on this project? Oh, I mean, it's a man. <laughs> It's, it's, it's day and night, but you know we haven't really gotten to the to the real brunt of things. Right. So like at this stage, even on a major, was still fun because it's still creative. It's still getting ideas. It's finishing up the album, getting the pictures, all that, getting doing the interviews. So I I can't compare it yet until we get into the full campaign. Right. We gotta you know do a promo tour when we gotta get to our marketing plan when we have to. You know, call DJs. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's hard. It's hard to judge it yet, but I'm looking forward to it. I, I, I must say that. Did all of the producers within the crew produce some songs on the album? Yeah, yeah. So it's very, it's pretty diverse. Yeah, it's pretty diverse. Um, I guess I produced the most of it. Mm -hmm. Most of it, as far as if you want to count numbers per you know, songs, but everyone pretty much did stuff. Me and Plus did the most. You know, which we, you know, kind of like going back. You know what I'm saying? Because me and Plus used to do the majority of the production when it, when we first was putting our records. Um, Ope did a couple of tracks, you know, meaning beat-wise, you know. And um, Bell did, um, he did The Who, and he did a, like a, a little snippet song. And Casual did a couple of things. Everyone was pretty represented. Jay Biz, you know, everyone was pretty much represented on this album. And everyone's feeling the vibe off this album? But in the crew? Yeah, in terms of, do you think this album kind of brought everyone together as a family? I think I think it's the first step toward it. You know right. what I'm saying? I think that, that we're, we're, I, we're pretty, it's, let's just say it's, it's the going in the right direction. I don't, I don't even feel like we're even, I think our next record, or like the Souls record, mm -hmm. or the Casual record, or the Dead, like the next record we do after these, will be it, you know what I'm saying? Right. Because in between this album that we're doing and, like, when everyone was signed, you know, it, we weren't all together like we, you know, like we used to be, you know what I'm saying, and, like, we're getting back to now. And because in the process of creating this album is getting people together. And I'd say that, yeah, we're all pretty much on the same page, but I, we're not, not well, you know, I think we can get even more on the same page let's put it like that sounds good is there anything else you want to comment on then just that um i just was saying that uh you know i, I want to um uh, really really get some feedback on on um uh, you know people in different areas you know through the web you know what i'm saying just to see what people feel like we could do in their area to get Hyrule more known and get get exposure. What are some of the outlets in everyone's area? 
I mean, I don't think people have to say it now, but I think that I really want to try to, it seems like people want to be a part of it. You know what I'm saying? On the, you know, all the people that are on the website mm -hmm. who, who log on and stuff. And I feel like, you know, you know, if people are interested, you know, maybe they might want to do, you know, pass out stickers or do little things in their area and maybe have feedback of, you know, because, you know, it is an independent thing and, and people, you know, somebody who's in, you know, who's in New Mexico or wherever is going to know what's happening in their area and how to get kids better than I would. Right. So I think that that's one thing I want to try to have, a, like, ongoing feedback with people, you know, um, through the site, you know, about, you know, what, what, about some of their ideas, you know. Cool. So we'll probably hook some shit up. Yeah, most definitely. I right. know. Uh, other than that, you know what I'm saying, I just to say that we're, you know, we're, we're moving it along. Things are, things are happening. I know it seems like it's taking hell along, but, you know, shit's coming together. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> All right, I appreciate your time. This has been a Hieroglyphics Online exclusive interview with Domino. Yeah. Peace. <laughs>